thought I'd show you how to make homemade deodorant because it's cheap and easy and completely natural so it's not going to do you any harm, none of the nasty chemicals that you get in the shop bought deodorants and it, and it costs pennies. So what you will need is some bicarbonate of soda or baking soda, coconut oil, a clean empty jar with a lid, um, some either some arrowroot or corn flour, I've got corn flour, half cup measurer, some little tablespoon measurers, and this is optional, but some essential oils that you like the smell of. So you start with uh, five tablespoons of coconut oil, and I've already melted that in a saucepan to speed up this video. So once you've melted that into a saucepan, you then add half a cup of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. half a cup of either arrowroot or corn flour, that all in, give that a good mix around till it's all smooth into a smooth paste, it won't take long. That background noise, if you can hear it, is my son's gerbil chewing up some paper in his cage, <laughs> keeping himself busy. So give that a really good mix around so you haven't got any lumps left. And you should have like a really creamy looking paste. Then, if you want it to smell nice, you can add some essential oils that you like the smell of. Any will do. Some are more um, antibacterial than others, but I'll leave it to you to decide what you like. And you just need 20 drops. I've picked a couple of random ones. I've got sweet orange and rose geranium. Just drop like... You need 20 drops in total, 7, 8, 9, 10, so I'll put like 10 of each in. I don't know how this will smell, but it'll be okay. So, two, come on, two, oh, it's a really slow one, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So, this is naturally antibacterial, the coconut oil is antibacterial, and so is the baking soda. And what you'll find is you won't have any residue at the end of the day on your armpits. And you don't have to use all those kind of nasty sprays. Uh, you won't have as much packaging to get rid of at the end because you're just using a, an old jar. And I absolutely won over by it because I used to use really strong men's deodorant and still wasn't, it wasn't good enough. But since using this natural stuff, it's way better than anything I've tried. And so do all of my family members think the same and friends. So we're all doing this now. So then once you mix it all together, just pour it into your jar. Try not to make a mess. And this will last you for ages because one application is just a small blob. And what you do is you set this in the fridge. I'm impatient, so I set it in the fridge. You can just leave it on the side otherwise. And once it's set, you just scrape a little bit off the top rub it between your fingers till it's gone soft and then just rub it on your armpit and you only, you only need a tiny amount and that's you done for the day so there we are that is a whole jar of jojo which, which would last me months pop the lid on stick it in the fridge let it set and then try it and see what you think that has cost you pennies it's taken you four minutes i've been on this video so we've got no excuse have we not to try this out for ourselves um, if you do get any reaction to it, any rashes or itchiness, the likelihood is it's just a reaction to the essential oils that you've put in. So either make another batch without anything or another batch with a different oil. But I've always been okay, um, so I'm sure you will be too. And let me know how it goes. Bye!